And these are like special paper, is it? All of them? Are you what? Okay, wait. Let me do the recording first. This is Kai from Kikai Craft and it's been a very, very eventful weekend. So if you are not aware, March 16 and 17 were the Manila Pen Show days this year. And I went to the Philippines for a very quick trip just to have a taste of how a pen show feels like and I was super overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the beauty of the pens that I saw and overwhelmed mostly by the very welcoming spirit that the community in the Philippines has for anyone who loves uh, fountain pens and all the accessories and ephemeras that it comes with. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna share snippets from the show with you and I'm also going to share with you what I got from the show. So let's start with some of the very interesting merchandise that was available so this is a luggage tag that came with hold up let me move my things a little that came with what they call a jelly bag which you see right here and this is part of the merchandise that they uh, had you pre-order but there were also a lot in the show and i have to say this is genius because the size of the bag was just perfect for you to put whatever you would buy from the show in as you went around the different shops. This year, there were 32 uh, vendors, I would think. 32 vendors. There were a thousand and... Did I say... Did I read 1,800? Like 1,800 people, 1,600 people uh, visiting the different... Um, stalls at the uh, show and there were about seven beautiful workshops that you could attend so i attended i think two three three of those uh workshops and they were beautiful the volunteers the organizers they did a wonderful wonderful job and uh, those two days were just beautiful so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with maybe a few snippets right now. Promise of Spring, and these are her pens, so pretty. I saw a lot of these up on the Fountain Pen Network, but I was wondering if you had like one pen that you would like recommend people get because it's like very pretty and you think it's like a lot of good work. I mean, all of them do, but which one would you say is like? Uh, I actually 
one of the things that I really wanted to offer is the variety. Okay. So that's why there's so many different ones in yeah. so many different colors because um, like you can choose your favorite color. You can uh, if you don't want to have like ones with flowers because you think it's too girly. So there's just like the simple gradient ones. So I really I found like when I was um, buying pens, yeah. it was a little prohibitive like what was on offer so I wanted something that was affordable but had the variety that if you wanted something pretty you can find something like that. so I can't really recommend any one thing in particular because that would be skewed for something that I think is good but I want I want to offer things that whatever you might think would be great but another one that I think so there are different colors depending on your favorites how did you like start like which model did you start with uh, I started with these three with, and then I modified for the smaller ones because I'm a big fan of mini pens me too so I wanted to be able to offer mini pens this is so nice. This one is really nice. What is the base for this one? Uh, what do you mean? What the like what pen is it? Do you make your own pens? Yes. yes. You uh, make, I, I make you the, pour them yes, and everything? Yes. Uh, these are all hand poured. Wait, this is, this is her. She's the one who pours this and makes them. Wow. So you have like, you have like casts and everything at yes. home. Oh my goodness. Now, what about the nibs? Which nibs? Oh, the nibs are about? just generic uh, Chinese pen kits. Uh huh. But can we change them if you want to? But I, what I like about it is that it's cheap, so I can offer them for cheap. And if people want to make the pens better, since it's a generic size 5, you can easily buy a nib to change into whatever you like. Because the thing with the entry-level pens that are cheaper, they're usually proprietary nibs, so it's hard to change them out. So I really like that if you want a stub nib with this, if you want an extra fine, or calligraphy nib if you find something that's a size 5 you can stick it in so I'm basically just selling something the body do you also uh, you also send out your pens internationally yes you do so you have that service as well um and Alright, so can you please tell us a little bit about your pen? Sure. Hi. So I'm I am a huge Jin Hao enthusiast. I love making a the humble Jin Hao into something beautiful. And uh, I do hand painted work as well as abalone work. Um, sometimes I combine the two, like here's I hand painted the background and then added uh, abalone shell as the petals. Oh, that's kind of like really pretty. It has depth to Thank it. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, it all started because I could not find a a, a decent Sailor Moon pen that I wanted to buy. <laughs> so and it's kind of just snowballed from there. I think I saw that on the network. Yeah, yeah. when you talked about that. Yeah. So now you use Jin House and yeah. um, Pilot. I also use Tere, which is Promises of Pens. Bye. Here's her. <laughs> and then I decorate them. And that's what our collab work is like. Oh, and you do customization as well? Yes. How long would, would this take if you need um, to customize? About maybe, I, I, I think about two to three weeks to a month per pen. Um, something like a painted pen would probably be two to three weeks. But something that has radin work would probably take about a month. Because it takes time for resin to cure and uh, I have to sand in two weeks later. Wow. <laughs> Does your place out look like a little bit of a workshop? Yeah. Is that how it looks now? My, my father complains that my office now looks like a workshop. <laughs> Alright, hi. Uh, I wondered like which one is the more popular uh, pens that you have during this show. So in during the show, these are one of the most popular pens. Uh, what do you call these? Why are they? Why do you think it's, they're popular? We we call it hakeme, hakeme mm -hmm. This this is like a, I would say China or pottery, you know, texture. Oh. Yeah, you, you can you can enjoy the tactile. Mm -hmm. This is like the 
like the size is the same for all the models, or do you have smaller ones? Yeah, shorter ones? Usually we don't have a smaller model. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one also you can enjoy the tactile, not easy. Oh, but it's like a fine, it's like a final, finer sort of texture. Mm, yeah. It's this and these. This is like really nice to touch. Yeah. And you also have nibs. Is it like to exchange with if you yeah, want it's like a, that? Basically, jewel steel nibs. Okay. And uh, we also have a gold nibs. Oh, and we can like choose a nib or have an additional yeah, nib. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, which one would it be then? Uh, the, we had a little tagas. Uh huh. Tagas, this one. Oh. Yeah, they have two on it. And then the fountain. Yeah. I'm gonna have a photo. Thank you. Do you have like a flip through of your inks or is it just these pages? Those pages, but we have swabs on our website. Uh huh. Um, I can pull them out. Oh, it's fine, I can feature it from there as well. Are all your shading inks gone already? Um, these are the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, this is the only ones. The, the newer ones ran out yesterday. This box. Oh my <laughs> so uh, usually kasi pag yung tablet are out in the second hand market, sometimes it doesn't come with the leather case anymore. Or the leather case is that badly damaged mm, yes. in the shiny. Let's so, open it up. Oh my goodness. What is this part for? For like extra pens you might want to carry? Oh what? The, the cartridges. <laughs> That's horrible! Yeah. Why are you showing it to me? <laughs> well, I need on to both sides. No, yeah, both sides. Show me the pen again. Why, why does it have this? Are these like dummy cartridges? No, or the, um, actually, yeah. we made one in this black ink. Oh, yeah. it looks so nice. Very dear, this doesn't came with gold colored cartridges. I don't want for one. So, if you want to use them, don't use them. Just pull it. This is the guy who's trying to sell <laughs> Show me again the pen. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, on, on video, because I want to. Unbox nothing. Unbox nothing. Alright. So that's how it comes. So basically, like this. Uh huh. Open it up. And that's it. Then show me the features of the traveler again. Alright. So basically, the traveler is a um, cartridge only filler. It's called a traveler because when you travel, you cannot fill. Basically, you cannot fill a oh, piston filler. Mm -hmm. um, conveniently, because you'd have to carry out the bottle. Mm -hmm. So the traveler is designed for basically the travelers because number one, it only takes cartridges. So if you need a quick ink change, you can change the ink. How it many cartridges two. does it carry? It takes two. Yeah. So that's why you need the case also, because it takes um six plus okay. two. And ang orientation nato, pababa yung cartridge dito, then baliktad. Yeah. So that you can um, carry an extra cartridge. And look at look at how good it is. <laughs> and the nib. Yeah. And tell us about the nib. Alright. The nib as well is um, already discontinued by boutiques at least in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So they do not offer extra fines anymore. <laughs> yeah, Simon Blanc na lang, they offer fine and medium. For for you to get an extra fine, you need a to join the nib exchange program. 
it's in a burgundy too. So a burgundy, that is that is also a discontinued color. So it's yeah. a discontinued on top of a discontinued on top of a discontinued. On top of it's like yeah. quite uh, an old pen, but it's new old stock. Yeah, here, yeah? So it's practically new. So summer heat is. Okay, this is the guy who makes them. He is uh, featured in so many places now. And he is here with his leather cases. Would you like to share something that maybe you think is extra special in your collection? Okay. Um, all of these pen cases are handcrafted and hand stitched by me. And uh, we use premium Italian leathers and exotic leathers. Actually, this is a black python uh, coming from Indonesia. Uh, this is uh, from Italy, and most of these pens, especially this one, this one is our UP themed pen case. It's a three slot pen case, especially for MPSP 2024. Uh, this is one of our crowd favorites. This is the matcha inspired pen case. Um, one thing that we like to share is that each pen case is. Uh, made by it's a labor of love uh, it's not a mass production and uh, each one is a story of me and my daughter because when i make my pen cases she usually assists me and it's part of my fatherhood journey oh that's beautiful thank you for sharing that thank you so much is there like any special pen you still have? Because I'm pretty sure you. Uh, we have these three. These are our exclusive. This is my fourth anniversary pen. Our uh, collaboration pen with the, you know, um, Manana Pen Show. And then this is the our first anniversary pen. Which one? This one. This wooden pen oh. from Tenny. This is a collaboration with Pen Ups. And then we made it a uh, Manila pen show special. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, our fourth anniversary pen. Oh. This pen is actually has a very unique filling mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's a button filler. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And it's all like pretty with the gold trim yeah. and everything. Yes. The gold accent with a very pretty, you know, resin. Yeah, it is. Yeah, diamond cast. And also with a nice stopper too, yeah. Yeah, so we we decided to have, you know, a, a little nice, just a stop to as a, serve yeah. it as a stopper. Yeah. Okay, what do you call this one? This one's what we call, the, the model's called Vanilla Sky. Mm -hmm. So it reminds you of the sky with a, you know, green sunset. Mm -hmm. You know, it's golden it brown yes. with red and Mix with blue. Yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, that this is really nice. This is available on the website too. Uh, we don't, we, we actually don't have a website. Oh, I mean on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. Then they can contact you. And yes, that's right. They can contact us on the Instagram. Yeah. It's got our logo. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, I can see it. Okay, thank you. tricky for me to sort of figure out where to start with the whole experience because with about 32 vendors and all of that and all of the things that I got I don't exactly know how to begin this particular um, post show uh, I don't know what you call it post show video so I went there with a little map that sort of uh, guided me as to which places I wanted to go and visit and um, it also marked those that I must go to, those that I must just have a look at. And um, this was quite good, except it was too small. So when I do join next year, I think I'm gonna have a bigger map that I will use for the show. So maybe in the spirit of the um, workshop highlight, 
which is the panel discussion on ephemera. Maybe I'll start with that. And so let me start with some of the notebooks and all of the pretty things that I found. So first off, um, this was actually some of my last purchases, my day two purchase. These are live notes uh, notebooks. They are in, what size is this? A6 size. I got them from Pen Gallery at about the same time I got this very cute, very mind boggling stamp. So I went to visit uh, Gia and she um, curates, restores vintage pens and that always interests me. So I went to her shop and I had a look and we enjoyed a short discussion about cats because she and I both have cats. I gave away a few cat stickers. My orange cat was very popular that day. And um, as we were having this discussion, she showed me this stamp and we didn't quite know if it was like a cat, a dog, or an owl. I personally think it's a cat. And this is from Cat Do. And they are working with Pen Gallery as well as Live Notes. Um, and Pen Gallery represented them in the Manila Pen Show. So these are Tomoe River paper sheets of the old Tomoe River. And I can't wait to try these out. I have been on a hunt for a smallish notebook. Currently, I'm using Leuch Term and I am excited to use these. Okay, so I had that. And then I also went ahead and got a few rolls. Actually, I just got one roll uh, from Gavin Sav and I thought it was perfect. I'm putting together a collection on Lilliputs and I thought that this roll was wonderful because of its size and because of its design because it really like all the stripeness of it, okay, sort of makes me really enjoy the uh, Lilliput collection that I'm currently putting together. Just to let you know, I thought that I had most of the Lilliputs. I have, well, nine, but I don't know where my other two are. So I had these and they fit perfectly here. And I found out that I'm actually missing a few exclusives, about four or five of them. But in the show, I did find a beautiful Piece that I will show with you. Uh, I will share with you in a while. So this I got from Gavin Sav, and Gavin Sav also gave me a very very cute little mini pen case, and I love the color of it, and I love the patterns that they had. They have like patterns for everyone. They have uh, simple patterns and very neutral colors like this. They have vibrant ones like this. They have some with Pikachu. And so that was very, very exciting. So I got that. And I also got, hold up. I went and visited Toyuka Crafts. And I have to say they had very pretty pieces. So this is how the box looks. And I got myself a tray. I'm sure if you go and enjoy my Instagram, you would have seen this tray already. And so this is their Hinoki pen tray and it is in wisteria this color and this is a manila pen show exclusive I don't know guys if you see it too but I feel like the color isn't even and so part of me was like "Hmm, oh, is that really something I want and I have to say I think that it gives the tray a little bit of character and uniqueness this is how it looks under it has like little feet legs i don't know what you call them to make sure that they're very stable wherever you put them and i think it's a wonderful piece to have when you showcase your pens this also uh, comes in like a longer tray i mean this color had like a few variations but apart from this tray i also got myself a drawer and it that one holds about 40 uh pens and if i'm not playing the video there i hope i am I featured it on my Instagram and on my uh, TikTok just to share with those who have not had a taste of the Toyuka, Toyuka craft um, trays and jars. They are beautiful pieces and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy each 
one. Hold up, let me check. Gavin Sav, Tayuka Crafts, uh, Stamps and Notebooks. Ah, yes, and one more. So uh, before I went to the pen show, I was in touch with Bungo Box because they have one of my favorite Caveco designs, which is the Caveco All Sport, The Little Witch. And this apparently um, has a little pen case that goes with it. And I had a conversation with Tak via email and we had a discussion about whether this um, case would be available in the pen show and he assured me that it was going to be available at the pen show and I was very very glad that it was. This is called <sighs> the Enchanted Forest Pen Case and it is made by Yuri and these are not always available Oh, look at that. These are not always available. They take a little bit of time to make. And so sometimes you have to wait for like months to get one. So if you can't see it, it's so pretty. It has this purple band with a pink and like dark blue sort of tassel ball. And then it has this beautiful silk design on it design it's silk and then it has a design floral design and inside there's also some texture I hope you yeah there you go and it is a perfect size for the little witch in fact it was made with a little witch in mind there you go there we have it so thank you talk and also thank you Karu uh, Miss Karu for uh, being so nice um, as to say hi and take photos um, and the team also so this is the enchanted forest um, and I'm very very glad to get my hand on one of these so thank you Tak and thank you Bungo Box and of course uh, how would I go to a manila pen show or a pen show or any found in pen shop if I don't get myself a few inks it's not like I am going to run out of inks the way things are going but of course I had to get a few that's not quite it yet I have just a little more and I also have just a tiny bit more okay so let's start with I suppose Okay, inks by Vinta. I only got one of the summer cocktails that they provided as sort of a Manila Pen Show exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Is it an exclusive or is it um, just like a, a release? I, I suppose maybe it's a release. This is called the Salud and it's Salud 1565, if I'm not mistaken. It's a lovely orange silver sort of color. This is how the Vinta packaging looks like, very secure. Um, this is supposed to have shimmer, like silver shimmer, but well, I'll do a separate like ink swatching video with all the inks that I got, but I thought I'd just show you. So this is the Salud from Vinta Inks, that's one. And then I got and got to say hi to the on inks people so these are their manila pen show exclusives this year this is umang which is some sort of like a gray blue sort of color hold up i want to show you the packaging so the manila pen show this year is all about like beaches and summer and so this is how they packaged it so you'll see this and then it says they're made for fountain pens. And this is how their bottle, this is for 50 milliliters, look like. This is the Umang. That's one. I think they had like four this year, but I only got two. So I got this one. It's quite a lot, actually. But it is pretty. And I got the Summer Sunset. Because this one is like a lovely orange red. Again, I'll put them together in a 
ink swatching video. So we can just have a look at all the inks. So this is Summer Sunset. These are the on inks inks that I got. Is it on inks? O N inks. Um then I got uh oh I got this from Muse Pens. This is like their exclusive. This is the Pierre Cordon Intramuros Puspin Blue. Puspin is actually oh there you go. Puspin is actually like a Filipino slang word for um cats that you can find in the streets if I'm not mistaken. So this one is a lovely like blue color like teal that is sort of um it references to the intramuros I don't know would I call it a patina that goes over some of the structures in intramuros oh, look at that it's such a cute little cat and the bottle is not bad at all looks very pretty and the design look at that I love the label um Sophie of Muse Pens was also very, very nice. Such a nice person. In fact, the people at Muse Pens were very nice. Um, so this is not the only thing I got from them. I'll share with you in a bit what else I did get. And then I got my hands on a few troublemakers. Seriously, these people are so hard to get their inks. But I got four of them. Sea glass. None of these are Manila Pen Show exclusives, but these are their new releases. They are shading inks. And this is Sea Glass for my lovely Esterbrook Sea Glass. I made sure to get one for my one of my favorite pens. So I have these four. Now we'll see in a while. Maybe in the next video how they all look. Look at that. More is that cats again or is that bears? Any which way, very cute. So I got four of those. Then, um, because I joined some workshops, I got the Organic Studio album from Everything Calligraphy. And I got, oh, the Straits Pen Ink. This is from Sunny. This is his very popular Sisig from last year. Look at that box. I mean, the bottle. Such a pretty bottle, Sunny. Sunny also led two of the workshops, one of which I was able to join. Um, another one I wasn't so fortunate to join, um, but I'm pretty sure it was a fun thing. And then I have this little cute packet from On Ink. So he he gives, uh, I think everyone, but could be just a few, I'm not very sure, but he offered uh, me to catch one of his little uh, fish packets. And finally, in the ink part of it all, I got myself this Manila Pen Show exclusive from Diamine. Um, this is supposed to have the lyrics to, I'm not sure, Liron Liron Sinta, I think, on it. Um, but you can't really see it. I think it's Liron Liron Sinta. Um, a little casualty of traveling from Manila to Jakarta. It um, spilled a little, as you can see. But, all good. This is supposed to be the scented ink, actually. One of these, I think it's this one, the 11 a.m. Shore, is supposed to be scented. So, if you have yet to check it, these are the different names and colors of this uh, Manila Pen Show exclusive. You have your 6 a.m. Sky, your 11 a.m. Shore, and your 5 p.m. Sun. And you can have some sort of an idea what the colors are going to be okay let's put these back really sweet packaging on this one thank you peter bangayan for um having these put together okay so these are the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bottled inks that i got and uh two samples i actually have a third one but i left that in the philippines um, to share with my mom who I also got a pen for so yeah that's it for inks now we're gonna move to the pens and the accessories that I got with the pens because I really thought I wouldn't get too many pens I already earmarked I think three before I went there 
but I managed to get more than that. And then, uh, oh yeah, before the pens, I think it'd be a good idea right now to share with you my experience with the Nibmeisters while I was at the pen show. Okay, so if you haven't seen the map to the pen show, this tiny little thing that I have is actually from a map that they shared with everyone. So this is how the whole setup looked like. There were a lot of little um, rooms that you could visit. And as you can see, there were like quite a number of vendors. We had Bungu Box. As I mentioned, I got the Enchanted Forest pen case from there. There's Glass Sophie. If I haven't shared it yet with a snippet before, I'm going to share it after. Beautiful, beautiful glass nibs. I had Troublemaker right there where I got my Troublemaker inks. There's Bocomundo, really nice pens. There was Pen Gallery, a lot of notebooks, also pens. Then we had um, Nagasawa there. We had Gira, lovely leather products. And then we had Vintage Pens by Gia right there. We also had everything calligraphy. It looks like it's two separate spaces, but actually it's just like one because Inks by Vinta is under everything calligraphy. And then we have uh, Peter Bangayan store, um, shop. Then we had Gavin Sav and one of my favorite shops, Manila Panography with Calvin Hello. Then we had On Inks, we had Leather Lux. Um, I'm supposed to have a leather case from Leather Lux. Um, I had a little um, interview with him as well. Um, I don't know if I showed it before or after, but yeah. And he promised me that he would be sending my case to me because it was unfortunately left in Baguio that time. Then you had Aesthetic Bay, beautiful pens here. Um, we have Musubi with their wonderful notebooks. Then we had Stationer Extraordinaire. This, I got a fan here. I know, crazy, right? But they had fans, if I'm not mistaken. We had Pen Graphic, we had Kasama. I have no clue, but after going to Toyuka Crafts, it, it feels like I didn't go much to this space and I have no clue why I didn't. Um, I really wanted to see the Kasama pen this year, but uh, like I said, I don't know. It's like my mind just stopped right here. Um, there were like, Workshops, this is where the workshops were. And we had the Lamy and we had a fountain pen network area right here. Hello to the FBN PH people. Uh, we had Sailor, lovely Sailor ink making uh, space there. If it's going to be offered again next year, definitely on my list of things to sign up for. Then we had Scribe where I met Jamila from Esterbrook and I got my pen from her um and then so that was one side of it on the other side we had a few more shops we had endless pens where i was lucky enough to meet uh, mika and raki and i went to muse pens as well with sophie um again beautiful shop beautiful people here say pens were was there too this is another like target pen for me next year and then we have Promises of Spring and Cat Customs and Sera Pen. That's what, that's the shop. Those are, this is like three shops in one stall here. Um, I got myself a pen from Promises of Spring, actually two. I'll share them with one. Yeah, one, because I left one in the Philippines for my mom. And then here, there's like this super nice bright spot. Actually, all these places were a little dim. Um, the light was a bit orangey, but in this one where all the Nibmeisters were, the lights were bright and nice and easy on the eyes. So I went to two, actually three of these uh, stalls. I really wanted to go to Matthew Chen's place, uh, but I didn't quite know which nib grind to get, so I didn't. So I went to uh, JP's Pen Spa because I wanted him to have a look at my vintage pen. And this is something he looked at and he helped me sort of smoothen it out and now it works. I'm not so sure because we just dipped it. Okay, so the ink on this one has dried a bit, 
but it doesn't catch anymore when I write with it. Oh yeah, he told me do not rotate it when you write. So it doesn't catch anymore and it feels so much smoother to write with, which is great because I've been wanting to use this pen. I also went to John Lim's um, store right here and he helped fix my Zoom pen from Sailor so that the um, grind, this is a zoom, isn't as bold. So I don't know again if there's ink. Okay, so now I can go from this to this. Okay, it's dying because it was just dipped to this, like super thick, and then also to a nice reverse writing. Um, so I'll just do another video for this, but this was just a wonderful thing to get this into something smaller because I really like the design on the nib and I really wanted to use it and so John Lim helped me fix that he also helped fix my pilot uh, sorry sorry my platinum three thread 3776 she on this one I had problems with writing with this because it was scratchy and so he helped smoothen it out. Currently it is inked. Ooh, look at that, feels so nice to write with now. It is currently inked with the Straits Pen Ink Ube. I think it's Ube Ice Cream, which is a Manila Pen Show exclusive. I wasn't able to get a bottle of this because I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. Um, and by the time I decided, oh, I'm gonna get one of those, they had run out of stock but Sunny was so nice that he had like a little tub available where you could get samples of it oh i can't stop writing it with it now john you made it such a smoother nip thank you very much okay so uh nib grind done all the ephemera done I and the ink, I suppose now it's time to show the different pens that I got from the pen show. Oh, yeah, before I forget, I did go to a few workshops and the workshops had beautiful freebies for participants. So the first workshop I went to, I was so excited to go. It is a nib um, maintenance workshop and it was uh, led by Sunny of Straits Pens, and that was just a wow experience. So, hold up. It came with a kit, do you see? And one more. Mm. Ah, yes. Quite a number of things in the kit. There was no like stinging or anything when it came to sharing what he had for us. So, this is an ink bottle that he gave us and he also gave us like a nib maintenance kit that included like um, sandpaper and some plastic paper that's supposed to help. It included plastic gloves in case we didn't want ink in our hands and it included some nice smoothening uh, paper. Okay, there's a name for that but I'm sorry Sunny, I forgot. Um, then he also gave us a little bag where we could put all the things that he gave us as part of our nib maintenance kit. So I have another loop, a very pretty loop. Okay, this is the one with the light and everything. And so he didn't stinge on that, that was super cool. Um, then he also, sorry for the plastic noise. He also gave us like a nib case and some ink that we can use also a nib we can practice with i have to say that was very stressful thank you bianca and ollie for being with me in that straight uh, sorry in that nib straightening business we had um there was another nib that we used to practice with and he also gave us some coffee filter paper to use to check if our uh, feed was working properly and he even gave us this little bag that we could use see that's a nib shaped as a rocket that we can use to put all these things in on top of that yep there was more 
Sunny also gave us, hold up, let me put these in, some Timoe River paper. So these, this is from uh, the old Timoe River bus stop that he had. And I don't know how I'm gonna use this, but definitely I'm gonna use this prudently because there's not a lot. Um, well, there is, but not a lot left. So that's one. And then another workshop that I went to was, um, oops, offhand flourishing workshop. And this is what I got from that. Okay. So this has like a, hold up, where's my thing? So this has a, uh, like a practice book, um, which would be this. And it has like a bunch of like guides and all of that. Okay, so this was um, led by Fozzy um, of the Fozzy book. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Um, so it has this, it has these. Actually, to be honest, uh, the slots for that particular workshop went really quick. And so I had to talk to Fozzy and uh, thankfully she was able to get extra tables for us to use during her uh, workshop or else I would not have gotten a slot. So this is what I got from her. One of the ink samples, the one from, oh, this one is also from her workshop. So I got these from her. And then I went to the um, panelist workshop. Hold up, I wanna get the complete name for that workshop because it's a very, very good one to attend. So it is called Beyond the Pen. So this is how it looks. Beyond the Pen, a panel discussion on pen-related ephemera and accessories, basically um, anything related. And so the panelists um, included uh, Jun Castro, included uh, Corito, um, and included Attorney Toto. Ooh, Attorney Toto's talk was like one of the highlights for me. He talked a lot about history and ink bottles and uh, that was a lot of fun. June Goster talked about um, how to uh, store your collection in, te in terms of pen cases and in terms of like huge bags. While Corito talked about um, how uh, she collaborated with a few um, artistic people to come up with really good pieces. Uh, there was another speaker, Rolf, if I'm not mistaken. He spoke a bit about um his own way of like storing his pens and getting um or integrating the use of fountain pens into his daily wear but my favorite one actually they're all really good but the one that i was super looking forward to was a talk with butch delisa so he was one of the panelists and i i okay he's a palanca awardee like multiple times fantastic writer i really enjoyed his um what he said in last year's manila pen show and so i was so excited to meet him uh this year when i found out okay i'm a little <laughs> not so um what's this well versed i suppose in who our writers were in the philippines etc but anyway as soon as i found out that um Butch de is was a is is a writer. I started reading all about him and I was so prepared for this year so much so that I had this book ready and I got him to write for me. And so here is a little something that he wrote for me on this book. I thought it was a very apt book. And he also signed here. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Butch de Lisai for saying yes to this. Okay, now finally the pens. Okay, so I thought maybe it would be a good idea to use the Toyuka Crafts pen tray for this so I could better showcase the pens. Ooh, how fancy. Okay, ooh, before I forget, there were stamps also. And so I got a few stamps for my notebook. There you go. There's like a stamp station there. 
Okay, so let's get this part of the show on the road. Um, maybe let's uh, go hmm, chronologically, I suppose. Okay, so first I went to Endless Pens for my pens because I didn't want to run out of this. So this is, ooh, sorry. This, I'm gonna scoot you in. This is the Grumpy Ming Ming. And this is an eyedropper pen, but there's like a special way of filling it. I have the medium. It's an Opus 88 with art from um, from Endless Pens. And the artist that Endless Pens had uh, making these lovely cats is Rocky from 20 Sides. And there weren't a lot of these available during the show. So this was definitely one of the first shops I went to, if not the first, because I did not want to miss out on this. This one did not come in a box um, because of a few delays in shipment, but I don't really mind because I really, really like how it looks. It also came with an eyedropper to help with uh, filling in, uh, filling in, filling the pen with inks. Another one that I got is this Endless Pens 3-in-1. Sorry about the plastic sound. Okay, this is another Manila Pen Show exclusive. You see this? Coffee with pandesal, which is our like bread rolls in the Philippines. This is how it came. So it has this leather case. And look at the color, it's so pretty. It's a lovely, lovely like brown color. And this is how the nib looks. Can you see the nib? Okay, it has pandesal and coffee in it. It is, okay, let's check what it is. A cartridge converter and it comes with a converter and I, it is a numbered pen. So only 10 were available and I got number, um, I don't know if you can see it, I got number three. So that was exciting. I really like how it even looks like it has like these little glittering things that is meant to be like sugar and it does feel like sugar. So those are from Endless Pens. These are not the only things I got from Endless Pens. Luckily, during the raffle because there was there were there were raffle prizes during day 1 and day 2 and I won day 1. I also won day 2. Um which is like, wow, out of 1,800 people, I won twice. And in my Endless Pens prize bag, I had a bag. And I also got washi tape. Also the Ming Ming, or the Grumpy Cat, who cannot open it, design by 20 Sides. Rocky, really cute design. So this is how it looks. So this I won in the raffle and they also were giving away a washi tape in their store. So as part of like my ephemera, I also got this washi tape from them. That's very nice. Okay, cannot open it. Okay, but you can see right. Let's try. I don't mind anymore breaking the box. Sorry. There we go. Ooh, but I like this. I do use this a lot. Oh, this is reminiscent of the Attila patterns that I also use in my ink swatching. So that's fun. And hold up, where is it? Ooh, I also want stickers, some grumpy stickers as well. So definitely had a lot of fun with the Endless Pen group and the pens and the ephemera that I got from them. Another pen that I really wanted to get was an Esther Brooke pen. Thank you, Jamila, for making sure I got the Esther Brooke SD White in flex nib. So that was something I was really looking forward to. 
I got this in the um, Esterbrook uh, stall store, um, which they had in collaboration with Scribe. And so I got one of these and I've unboxed these before. Um, but this one has a flex nib. As you can see, you see the cutout right there? So this is an extra fine flex nib and I'm quite excited to try this out with the other nibs that I have from Esterbrook. So that there's that. And then, oh wait, Jamila also gave me a sticker. It's right there, it's like a typewriter sticker. She also gave me this, which I actually have not opened yet. Okay, so she gave me this which I also have not opened yet. This is a pen case. I have the blue one already, and this time I got the green one, yay! To go with my white one, because I thought it was a very good match. And I do have quite a number of neutral colored pens as well that I think would look good with this pen sleeve. So now I have two. Thank you, Jamila. Thank you, Hester Brook. And they also gave me this which I think is a bookmark. Give me a second. Okay, let's open it up. There we go. Yes, it is a lovely bookmark. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now I have this. I have my bee and I have my butterfly. Oof. The only thing missing, I think, is the frog. Okay, so I have those from Esterbrook. Then I went to the Manila Panography. Now this, I have to say, maybe I put that as last. Before I go there, I have to say, Sunny, again, was super, super duper nice. Apart from that whole nib kit that he gave us and the beautiful Sisig ink, he also gave us two pens to practice with. So this is one of them. And this is the other one. This is a Wingsong pen. I haven't really even opened it yet, but you can see it there. It comes with two nibs that we could practice for nib maintenance. And he also gave us this one. And I know he gave us like a list of what the names are. Mm, this is also a Wingsong. So it's two different Wingsong models. Okay. Um, then I went to... Uh, okay, okay, let's see. Oh, no, I didn't go to Manila Pornography. Penog I went there last. I went back to Muse Pens because, is this the one? I think this is the one. I could be wrong. Let me take a peek first. I'm wrong. This is not the one. Oh, oh. this is the one. I finally got it. And so I have actually been thinking of getting one of these. Um, if you're from the Caveco group on Facebook, I actually talked a little bit about getting one of these and I wasn't quite sure because it was a little tricky to get one um, in Jakarta with customs and all of that. And in the Manila Pen Show, they had it. So from Use Pens, comes with sticker, comes with a keychain, I think. And of course, the Caveco stickers also comes with its um, little clip. Oops, the little clip. But I have the Hello Kitty Caveco in pink. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is how it looks. To do San Rio Caveco Hello Kitty with a nice little bow. Okay nice little pale pink color and you have hello kitty right there so cute Kitty. okay so i have her so that would be one two three four five and then the sixth one still in the box oh i had a seventh one that i won um for raffle day two, but that one I gave to, to Penable. Um, and so now I'm down to my last three pens. Okay, here is a pen from Promises of 
spring. So honestly, um, when I went to the Manila Pen Show, um, I didn't think I would get one pen from uh, from Promises of Spring because it was too girly for me, I thought. But look at this. So I was speaking with Tere when I saw this pen. Tere is, uh, she's the one that makes these pens and she literally makes them. She pours them, she gets all these um, flowers and what not into them and as I was talking to her and asking her all sorts of questions I saw this pen and it is so pretty look at it I love its color and I love its size and I also really enjoy this weird shape with all those facets on it and so I definitely decided that I was definitely gonna get one so here are some of the pens that I got from the pen show. And now I'm down to my last two pens. Okay, so the last two, one of these is another Caveco. And I have been like collecting Lilliputs. Um, I thought there were only like nine Lilliputs and then I found out there were 10. Now I know there are at least 15 out there, but this is one of the unicorns. This is the, ta-da, Caveco pink. And this is a most wanted exclusive color. So I got the fountain pen and the ball pen. And these were um, through the Manila Penography Calvin. This is like, such a pretty piece so there we have it it's in extra fine such a tiny tiny nib and it just goes so well with my other lilliput so i'm just gonna get my little lilliput roll from gavin sav i'm just gonna slide it in of course as always excuse the cat hair so now i have quite a number of lilliputs my black one is in one of my pen cases and then I thought I have like just one more slot for the purple and then I found out that there were more than 10. So I think I need to get another roll from Gavin Sav to accommodate my other Caveco Lilliputs that I want to manifest will come in the future, hopefully this year. And then my final uh, pen. And this is actually a highlight for me. So this year I thought I'd have like one pen uh, purchase that um, I didn't know I'd get as quickly as now. I thought I'd get them, get it somewhere, I don't know, mid-year. But Calvin of the Manila Penography had this beautiful piece for me. So this, with its beautiful packaging, is a Nakaya Piccolo and it has a very very long name hold up let me try and get the name for you because it's quite a name this is the hold up Nakaya Piccolo olive green Tamenuri Hagi 2B fountain pen I hope I got that right oh okay it fell down so it comes with a pen sleeve, it's so fancy. And there it is. Look at that, it's so pretty. I actually put some ink in this already because I could not stop myself. Look at that, nice little glitter on the section. And look at that little pattern. Those little paintings in the section. I don't know if the light is doing it justice, but it's so pretty. And it's so small, it just fits my pocket pen collection. E, let's put it here, just so you see how it looks. Okay, with the Caveco and all that. So as you can see, I have a few long pens and a few short pens and medium range pens um, this year, but this one, Actually, not the only one, but all of these pens I super am stoked to have in the collection. This one was like a big project pen for me, and so I'm glad to 
have it this early in the year. Okay, and I think that's about it. Of all the purchases that I made, the only one I am just waiting for is the pen case from Leather Lux, and I will update you as soon as I get it. Um, then I think I'm done with everything that I got from this year's pen show. The next pen show is already scheduled, if you don't know yet. And so, if I'm not mistaken, it will be on the 15th and 16th of March, 2025. So if you are looking to go to a pen show in Southeast Asia or you want to just travel to Southeast Asia and we'll be here around that time, please come and join us. It's such a beautiful, happy event. Um, what else? Ooh, what am I planning to get next year? Definitely going to get another Toyuka craft uh, jar. They are beautiful, so pretty. And I am thinking, and I think I have managed to convince my, convince myself um, to get my get myself a say pen next year. They have very, very beautiful pens. Just to give you an idea, these are the pens that they have. I mean, look at that, so cute. So definitely, and this is, this is the view from their shop. I think I have a clip um, and a short conversation with uh, the Seipan people in this video somewhere before or maybe after. Not quite sure yet. Um, and uh, yeah, those two definitely will be looking at Kasama as well. And we'll be looking forward to joining um, the group if I can get a slot for the panelists because that was a whole lot of fun. Lastly, before I go, I just want to share with you this little mug that I got. It's a Manila Pen Show mug from Scribe. Thank you very much, Scribe, for sharing the, these mugs with the people who visited your store that day. And this is quite a mess, but it's a beautiful, beautiful mess. It was a wonderful weekend. Thank you to everyone that I met at the Pen Show. So welcoming, so happy. And uh, those of you who said hi to me and recognized me, that was such an interesting thing that some of, um, some of the people recognized me from my voice, some from my hands, um, and some of course because I've known them for some time already. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, um, Fountain Pen Network, Laypod, thank you for putting it all together, Lorraine, I mean, everyone was just beautiful during the show and I am looking forward to next year's show but for now I'm going to play with what I got from this year. This is Kai from Kikai Craft. I hope that wherever you are you're having a great day or a restful evening. Bye everyone! Mm -hmm.